Okay, Marty, this is a demonstration. I'm going to make eggs in my uh, cast iron pan. Uh, this morning I am cooking with a Griswold number no. 6 Erie 699B. This um, skillet is probably made between 1900 and 1910. Uh, since we just got home today, I don't have any milk for my eggs, so I'm just going to do the eggs, uh, cheddar cheese, and they are going to be cooked in. Land Lakes salted butter. Now one of the things that I do is uh, when I have a newly seasoned pan like this one, this one I think may have had uh, two coats of flaxseed oil and um, I'm not going to do the six because uh, ultimately what seasoning is for is to keep your pan from rusting and to help with the initial cooking. Uh, other than that you just need to cook in your skillet to build up that black uh, patina that almost makes it virtually non-stick so uh, but since this is the first time I've cooked with this I'm not going to be really aggressive with my heat I'm going to probably start out with um, about uh, medium to maybe right under medium and I'm going to let that preheat for a minute and I'm going to put butter in the pan and cook my eggs butter one of the things about butter is that um, it is the cream and butter that burns when you cook so sometimes it might be a good idea to make um, what is called clarified butter, or some people call it butter ghee, spelled G-H-E-E. -E. And uh, what that is, it's a process of separating the cream from the fat. Uh, you heat the butter slowly, and uh, you let the cream rise to the top and skim it off. Um, you can pour it through a piece of cheesecloth, or you can skim it off with a spoon or whatever, but uh, it makes for a really nice cooking fat that does not burn. Uh, therefore, you get no coloration from the burned butter in your eggs if you have your pan a little bit too hot. So, all right, uh, our pan is reheating and um, or preheating, and we're just about ready to put the eggs in. Okay, uh, we're going to add the butter to the pan, and we're going to use a good amount of butter. Um, and you can see the pan is cooking nice and slow. It's not cooking fast. We're going to get the sides good and buttered as well. Like I said, we're using uh, a non-aggressive heat for this first time. All right, and then let's see. Let me open my cheese. Get that ready. You can see my butter is not turning brown at all. And I'm gonna add my eggs. A little bit of cheddar cheese for flavor. And uh, you want to kind of work your eggs slowly. You don't want to cook them fast. Uh, eggs need time to kind of set up. And if you want the McDonald's looking type of eggs, that's how you want to cook them. And you can see, um, you know, you do anytime you use cast iron, you want to use a, a good amount of fat to cook in it. But an uh, unseasoned cast iron uh, skillet would really stick and you can see this one is doing uh, extremely nicely even with the cheese uh, leaking out of the eggs onto the pan but if you're not a believer in cast iron and this this pan was only seasoned a couple times with the flaxseed and uh, you can see that it's doing fairly well you're always going to have a little bit of sticking, but I mean, for a cast iron pan and for a pan that's not Teflon, uh, who we all know that this stuff is very bad for you, this is doing really well. I don't think you can ask for anything better than that out of a cast iron pan. But anyway, see, I'm gently massaging my my eggs. I'm taking my time with them, and um, you know, I think you just have to have proper heat. Uh, a decent amount of fat and you can see that I have successfully cooked these eggs in a cast iron skillet so if you're having eggs that stick in a skillet if you're having just food that sticks in a skillet uh, you might want to make sure it's properly seasoned one thing I love about these old cast iron skillets is that uh, they were machined properly and um, they were machined properly and they're really smooth and so they really do prevent a lot of sticking so
Don't slide those right out of the pan. And that's it. So there you have it. Cast iron or uh, scrambled eggs cooked in a uh, Griswold number no. six Erie cast iron skillet. Skillet's pretty pricey. I didn't pay a lot for it, but uh, it's worth a lot. So uh, I love it. It's one of my favorite skillets. See ya.